Super Idol de Charo. Don't make me do ten by each young with the official. Steady as she goes, perrito. Doki, though, where are we headed, anyways? Off to find new adventures. Old friends. No, I'm just blind. That was actually a good sentence. I I'm just blind. Oh my god, they're making Shrek 5. That movie was fantastic. I can't wait for Shrek 5. Let's go do that DreamWorks tier list. They actually are, too. Guys. It was masterful. All right, let's get started with the GOAT. Shrek 1, the legend that started it all. I have to say, if you don't enjoy this movie... Wait, these are all DreamWorks movies. Okay, fair enough. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of got it, like, mixed up with Pixar shit. And you know what? I I'm trying to... I have not watched How to Train Your Dragon at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I did not watch that shit. I apologize. I did not watch Boss Baby 2. And I did not watch Trolls? There's a new Trolls? I didn't watch that shit. And what is this horse girl shit right down here? Spirit? What the fuck? Alright, so I'm gonna just be guessing on that shit. Because I haven't, you know. You might have something wrong God with damn. it. It was a fresh take on the traditional fairy tale. And in particular, the way they turned the princess trope on its head. Easiest cue. I agree, Joe. Shrek S. was a fantastic movie. The animation was top-notch, and the humor was clever without being too juvenile. And of course, the voice talent by Eddie Murphy and Mike Myers was excellent. Uh, I wasn't too impressed. I thought the humor was a bit too crude for my taste. And the animation was a little too cartoonish for me. I'd give it a C. Obama, what the hell is wrong what with the you? Fuck? The humor was too crude for you? Barry, the reason the movie works is because of the crude humor. We all thought Shrek was a great movie. And the animation was fantastic, especially for its time. I'd give it an A. Yeah, the adult jokes inside the movie really shook up the animated hierarchy at the time. Every animated movie since the coming of Shrek has been in- Bro, it's, yeah, it's really S or A at this point. S or A. It's been a second since I watched it, but... Yeah, no, I, I remember. I remember a little bit. I, re I really remember the last one. Like the latest one. What was it? Like Shrek 4 or some shit? Inspired by it. Hell, you can say because of Obama, it's probably going to be an A. Shrek has almost Christ-like qualities. Coming in and changing the whole scene like that. Are you seriously comparing Shrek to Jesus? Like literally the man was nailed to a cross. I don't think Shrek died for our sins either. What? Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Put it in A tier, Donald. Okay, let's move on to Shrek 2. Personally, I thought this one was even... Obama is a fucking hater. Holy shit. And this is a new guy doing it. Like, this is a different channel of President AI videos. Usually Obama's cool with it. Obama's like... I don't know what he's on. I don't... Obama, what's up, man? What the hell? <laughs> Better than the first, and the story was great. Not a single wasted second. And far, far away being inspired by L.A. was a real master stroke and added a lot to the film. I completely agree, Joe. Shrek 2 was a masterpiece. The humor was spot on, even with the now dated pop culture jokes. And you bipolar son of a bitch, bro. Come, just, just. The C was uncalled for for the first Shrek. I'm sorry. That was, uh-uh. Obama, bro. You didn't earn my trust back. They did an excellent job of introducing new characters without sacrificing the existing ones. I actually like this one better than the first. The characters introduced, the grade A storytelling, and the climax really solidified Shrek's place in popular culture. I'd give it an S. I'm with you there, Donald. Yeah. Shrek 2 was fantastic. I'd give it an S as well. All right, let's talk about Shrek to third. I have to. Yeah, that's fair enough. I think 2 was like the best one. Um, A was kind of. It was good, but. And I just remember it being like, you know. Well, maybe because, yeah, you get more characters in Shrek 2, so it's more like, you know, better, in a sense. You feel me? Um, yeah, some of the AI script writers kind of suck. <laughs> yeah, the, the main, I think there's like two or three people that I usually watch, like, AI shit from. This guy, this is a new one, but nobody did, like, a DreamWorks shit yet. NPC behavior. <laughs> to say 
Um, I the was third. a bit disappointed with this one. The humor felt forced and the story was weak. I mean, they ripped off King Arthur and tried to jam it into Shrek by adding Merlin and Arthur and reintroducing Charming really didn't work. I mean, really, the handsome mommy's boy becoming king. I really doubt that Charming even made his own bed without his fairy godmother doing it for him. I have to agree with you guys. Shrek the third Damn. just didn't measure up to the first two movies. Drop it in C tier and let's move on. Let's Fair move enough. on to Shrek Forever After. Fair enough. I actually thought this one was a bit of a return to form. The humor was... See, that's the last one. I thought it was... Like, this. that's the one I remember the most was the last one. But I, I thought it was okay. Um... It wasn't bad. It's not C. I think it's it's fair enough to be B, to be honest. Much better than in the previous movie, and the story was more interesting. I mean, who wouldn't want the chance to live in the past for a day, and it gives important insight to be grateful for what you have. I agree, Joe. Shrek Forever After was a step up from Shrek the Third. A or B? The humor was better, and the plot was more cohesive, and it was an emotional end to the Shrek saga. I didn't like this one as much as the first two, but it was definitely better than Shrek the Third. Mm. I'll give it to DreamWorks. They normally have a good track record with sequels, but Shrek Forever After will probably be better than the fifth Shrek movie. I'd give it a B. Disagree. I'd give it an A. And they are making a fifth Shrek movie. What's this one going to be about Shrek's struggle with chronic lower back pain? Really, they should have ended with Forever After. <laughs> it was... God damn. Chill, George. George, chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. It's a great send-off. You might say that, but for example, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, was an easy S-tier movie that was masterfully made, which brought a lot. Yeah, that, no, Puss in Boots, absolutely S-tier. Absolutely, that was... I mean, for me... I, I watched too much anime and shit so it's just like i mean we all know what's gonna happen you know they're gonna get the um forever after bullshit whatever good ending but like i don't know just me watching anime all the time with all these like amazing ass plots and shit and i come back to western animation it's just like oh my god but it's also a kids movie so you know but animation was um a tier um uh, the plot it, it had a good message, though, so it's definitely A or S. That's the one thing I liked about it, plus the animation, but, yeah. I don't know. I mean, me personally, I would probably give it an A. It could be A or S, but me, because I watched a lot of shit now, I'm, like, really just a big-ass critic, I would give it an A, but it's pretty, it's pretty fucking solid to the table including dreamworks greatest villain big jack horner oh you mean oh big... yeah yeah no the fucking um the wolf oh my god yeah he's a fucking w cared trump yeah he was great i am way more base than jack horner could ever hope to be small loan of a million dollars sounds a lot like something that jack horner would say yeah and you look like you would shoot a puppy in the face donald Agree to disagree. We still have to rate the other Puss in Boots movie. Personally, this one is C. Okay, wait. No, I never watched the first one, I think. If I did, it was in passing, but I never watched the first one. I'm not gonna lie. It's tier at max. Yeah, I have to say, I was pretty disappointed as well. The animation was decent, but the story just wasn't there for me. I'm gonna have to dissent here a bit. <laughs> I actually enjoyed Puss in Boots. Dissent. I thought the character was still charming, and the action sequences were well done. Really? Um, I just felt like the movie didn't really have much of a point. The characters felt underdeveloped, and the plot felt rushed. Well, maybe I did watch this. I don't like know. the fuck was with the egg character. You mean Humpty Dumpty? I feel that <laughs> Donald was perfectly represented in that movie. He just needed his wall. Damn. Guys, you're being very rude. Stop it. Damn. I understand where you guys are coming from, but I still think there were some redeeming qualities. The voice acting was solid, and there were some fun moments. I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree on this one, but I'm definitely putting it in C tier. Agreed. All right, fair enough. It's not the best animated movie out there, but I still think it's worth a watch. Okay, up next, we got the Kung Fu Panda movie. Put this shit in A tier. A or S. A or S, please. 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 And I, oh, I never watched the third one, too. I never watched the third one. I saw the second one. 
I didn't watch the third one. The third one's good, though. I know, because it's with his dad and shit. I just didn't watch it. <laughs> movies. I personally loved the first one. It was a great introduction to the franchise. The animation was amazing. And the story was really heartfelt. It did a great job of balancing the comedy and action. I have to agree with you there, Joe. I think what really made this movie stand out was the character development. Poe's journey from being a noodle cook to becoming the dragon warrior was really inspiring. Mm. Absolutely. And I also love the attention to detail in the setting and the Chinese culture. It was clear that the filmmakers put a lot of effort into getting things right and being respectful of the culture. <laughs> That's funny with his face like that. Not Obama's on time and Obama, I love you again, okay? I just don't don't do that fucking um which one was first? Don't do that what was it, Shrek? Don't do that shit again, Obama. Don't do that again, bro. Fucking C tier, holy fuck. That being said, I do think some of the humor might not land for everyone. Yeah, I can see what you mean, Barack. But for me, the movie was just a lot of fun. I think the filmmakers did a great job of making it accessible to all ages, which is not an easy feat. Overall, I give it an S tier. I agree, S tier for me too. Same here, S tier. I'm with you guys, S tier for Kung Fu Panda 1. Looks like we're all in agreement on that one. All right, moving on to Kung Fu Panda 2. I have to say this one might be my favorite of the three. The action was even more intense, the stakes were higher, and the villain was really compelling. Yo, no, I remember that meme. Oh, was it the first one? No, I think it was the second one. I think it was the, the villain from the second one. Bro, but that, that fucking intro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it was the third one? Go. Go -to I didn't even watch this shit yet, but... <laughs> it's so fucking sick, bro. Oh my god. What a fucking G, bro. Mm. I loved how they expanded the world building, too. The introduction of the other Kung Fu masters was cool. I do think the pacing was a little uneven in some parts, though. That's true, Joe. But overall, I still think it's an A-tier movie. Same here, A tier. Yeah, A tier for me too. Agreed, A tier agreed, for Kung agreed. Fu Panda 2. All right, last but not least, Kung Fu Panda 3. I'll be honest, this one didn't quite live up to my expectations. I have to agree with you there, Barry. It just didn't have the same level of excitement and energy as the first two movies. Yeah, I think the plot was a little thin and the humor didn't quite land for me. I do have to say, though, the animation was still amazing. And I like the message of the importance of family. I can see that, Joe. But for me, it just didn't quite come together as well as the other movies. I have to give it a C tier. I'm with you on that, Barry. C tier. Same here, C tier. All right, I'll be the dissenting voice here. I think it's still a solid movie, even if it's not as good as the first two. I'll give it a B tier. Well, we can't all agree on everything, Joe, but I think we've come to an agreement to put it into C tier. Uh, okay, now we have How to Train Your Dragon. Damn, maybe I won't watch it. Maybe I won't watch it. I don't know. I think I'll still watch it, but like, damn. Dang, I wanted to say B. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, D is. Why is everyone just going down to D, bro? Where is F tier? Come on. But, um. Shit. I mean, I'll still watch it because it's Kung Fu Panda, but damn. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. How to Train Your Dragon? I have no, I have no idea. I haven't watched this shit at all, bro. I thought it was a great movie. The storyline was captivating. The relationship between Hiccup and Toothless was heartwarming, and the battle scenes were thrilling. For me, it deserves an S tier. I agree with Joe. It was a great movie, but for me, it's A tier. The story was engaging, but it wasn't as exciting as some of the other movies on the list. Mm. Oh, look, Boomer Trump needs constant engagement to keep his brain working. That's I think the movie was brilliant in the way it approached the relationship between dragons and humans. I would also give it an S tier. I enjoyed the movie, but I don't think it's an S tier. I would give it an A tier. The story was good, but it wasn't as epic as some of the other movies. Well, it seems like we're at a gridlock. Let's bring in someone to break the tie. Oh, God, not him. I can change my vote. Is it gonna be Ben Shapiro? Is it, it, it's it's probably gonna be Ben Shapiro. Oh, hold on, guys. Too late. I texted him. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Okay, but I mean, Loki, he should have already been in there. I mean, if you're gonna add George into the fucking um, ranking shit now, he should have already added Bill. What's up, guys? You really had to invite this retard? Donald, we just need him to finish the tier list with us. <laughs> okay, what we rating? We are doing a DreamWorks movie tier list. We need your vote on how to train your dragon. Oh, did you guys do The Prince of Egypt yet? That movie is easy S tier. Are you deaf or just dumb, Bill? Joe asked you to rank how to train your dragon. <laughs> no, we didn't do The Prince of Egypt. That's in the next video. We are doing the franchises of DreamWorks. Okay, okay, calm down. Geez, I would put How to Train Your Dragon in S tier then. Come on, what the fuck? Let's get back to talking about How to Train Your Dragon 2. For me, it's B tier. The movie had some great moments, but the story felt a bit disjointed, and it wasn't as emotionally impactful as the first one. Mm. I agree with Joe. The story felt a bit thin. B tier for me as well. I have to disagree with you guys. The movie was a solid A for me. The new characters were well developed, and the story built on the first movie perfectly. Why is he still here? Already you with your contrarian takes. It's been like 30 seconds. Can't you keep your mouth shut for more than 30 seconds? Donald, you're always having these autistic outbursts. <laughs> What the Besides, Bill has a point. I agree it's A tier. I enjoyed the movie, but I agree with Joe and Donald. It's a B tier for me. All right, fine. It's B tier. Now on to How to Train Your Dragon 3. This one for me is an A tier. Mm. No doubt about it. The visuals were breathtaking and the emotional stakes were high. The ending was bittersweet but satisfying. I thought the movie was good, but not as good as the first one. It's a B tier for me. I agree with Joe. It's A tier for me, too. The story was touching and the animation was beautiful. I think the movie was good, but I would give it B tier. It didn't quite capture the magic of the first movie Why for me. Why is he still here? Overall, it seems we all agree that the first movie, How to Train Your Dragon, deserves S tier. The second movie is B tier, and the third movie is A tier. Okay, now we got Madagascar. Absolutely love the first Madagascar movie. A or S. A or S. A or S. A or S. I'm not gonna lie, I liked all the Madagascar movies. I liked them all. I liked them all. It had a great storyline, and the characters were well-developed, with Alex and Marty being great foils for each other. The humor was also on point, King Julian in particular, and the fame well, of Criminal Mort fuck. were my favorites. Overall, it was an S-tier movie for me. I agree with- There's so many funny-ass motherfuckers in Madagascar, like, I swear, bro. Well, Madagascar 2 lacked the charm of the first one. It was still a good movie, but not as memorable. That's why I would put it in B-tier. I agree with both of you on the first two movies. The first Madagascar was definitely the best an S-tiered movie, but I still enjoyed the second one and think it's a B-tier movie. However, I thought the third movie, Madagascar 3, was a bit lackluster compared to the first two. The plot was a bit too scattered. I mean, come on. A French policewoman actually doing her job instead of protesting? <laughs> that's just bad writing, and that's why I... <laughs> No, no, but he's right. He's right. He's right. I would also put it in B tier. I have to disagree with you on Madagascar 3, Obama. I actually thought it was a lot of fun. The circus storyline was a nice change of... I mean, I, I think all of them are B or above. That's that's my opinion. I, that's, that's just my opinion. But I think they're all pretty solid. Pace from them trying to... First one definitely S tier, though. ...escape and accepting that they are who they are. However, I do agree with the B tier placement. It wasn't quite on the same level as the first Madagascar. Mm. Now let's talk about the penguins of Madagascar. I thought it was a great. Okay, I actually never watched the movie. I, like I watched clips and shit, and like put them in videos and stuff. I was like editing and stuff, but I, I never actually watched the movie. I watched the show, never watched the movie. Spinoff movie. The penguins were always a fan favorite, and this movie gave them a chance to shine. The humor was on point, and the storyline was engaging. That's why I would give it an A tier ranking. I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised by the penguins of Madagascar. I didn't have high expectations going in, but I ended up really enjoying it. The penguins were hilarious, and the action sequences were well done. I would also give it an A tier ranking. I have to agree with both of you on this one. The penguins of Madagascar was a great addition to the franchise. Like Joe said, the humor was spot on and the action was exciting. It definitely deserves A tier. Overall, I think we can all agree that the Madagascar franchise has had its ups and downs, but the first movie and the Penguins of Madagascar were definite highlights. Damn right, Bush. What's up next, Joe? <laughs> we got Trolls, the Crudes, and the Boss Baby. 
I'm not raiding those three dumpster fire franchises. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is. Listen, listen, I, I actually, I like the crudes. I like the crudes. I'm not going to lie. I liked it. Um, well, at least I thought it was enjoyable, you know. Um, the new one, I didn't watch. I actually plan on watching it, just didn't watch it. I need to make a list of, like, movies that I need to watch. I need Soul, the new Croods. Um, I'm not watching that boss baby bullshit. Hell no, they're right. I'm not watching that. Shit, Kung Fu Panda 3, all these other fucking movies. And then I want to watch some other movies that I, like, low-key forgot the plot to. But, huh. Ugh, they're right, bro. I'm not watching no damn boss, baby. Fuck no. Jizes, they all stunk. I'm going to go get a drink. Hold on, Joe. You forgot the spirit movies. The first one was okay. Not my favorite DreamWorks movie, but a nice watch. The second one was really just a cash grab. Put them in B and C tier, respectively. Okay. Oh. Okay, that just leaves us with the bottom of... B tier? Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. And what is this? That's the Horse Girl movie? I don't know what the hell it's about. I didn't even know it existed, bro. But, shit. I have to be honest, I wasn't a big fan of any of these movies. They just didn't capture my attention. I think Trolls was ass. I'm not gonna lie, I watched Trolls. I think it was ass. I think it was ass. I, 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 at most, I would rate the first Trolls movie at a C, bro. The B might be pushing it. I just didn't like it. I like the music and stuff, but I just... Uh, uh. The, plot felt the only thing down here that I like is The Crudes. Because it's, like, interesting. But other than that, I'm like, nah. Felt predictable, and the characters weren't very interesting. Overall, I think they lacked the depth and creativity that I look for in an animated film. I have to agree with Biden on this one. The Trolls franchise just didn't do it for me. Yep. The humor was too juvenile, and the characters were too one-dimensional. D. I couldn't connect with them on any level. D. I think the Trolls movies were trying too hard to be trendy and current. Yeah. Yeah. And as a result, they sacrificed storytelling and character development. Shit was ass. The music was catchy. Yep. But it felt forced and not integrated yep. well into the plot. Yep. Literally, like, they're literally just like fucking pop songs. Like, they're, they're, they're okay. Like, uh, that was the only good thing about the movie was the songs. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's literally all I remember. I don't know the fucking plot. Like, it wasn't memorable at all. I have to say I was disappointed in the Trolls movies as well. They didn't have the heart and soul of other animated films that really resonate with audiences. The jokes fell flat and the overall message of the films was muddled and unclear. C or D. I think the Trolls movies were a missed opportunity to create something truly special. They had all the right ingredients, vibrant visuals, a talented voice cast, and catchy songs. But they didn't come together in a meaningful way. I mean, it's like they were trying to produce a great movie but trying to make it appeal to toddlers. Not a good way to make a film. I have to say, I was deeply disappointed by the Crudes movies. The animation quality was lackluster. Bro, who didn't see? Hey, fair enough. Because I, I, I mean, I, I could just tell the second Trolls movie was probably a dumpster fire. Like, it was probably dog shit. So, fair enough, fair enough. Um, Crudes. Come on now, bro. Give, give it at least a B, bro. At least a B. At least. I don't know why I enjoyed it though. It's just, it's just something to watch. During the storytelling was just not up to par. I couldn't even get through the first 30 minutes of the first movie without getting bored. What? The humor was childish and the characters lacked depth. The crudes. Oh, that's, that's, that's fair enough. That's fair I enough. tell you, it's a disaster. It's like they didn't even try. The jokes fell flat and the animation was just ugly. I couldn't even imagine watching it again. The Crude's movies were a disappointment. The first movie had some potential, but it ultimately fell flat. The second movie was just a rehash of the first. All right, but you really gonna put Trolls on top? But with even worse an what? animation. What? The plot was predictable, and the humor was unoriginal. I have to say, I didn't even bother watching the second movie after the first one left such a bad taste in my mouth. Both go in D tier for me. Okay, we just got... Really? 
I thought the first one was pretty solid. B at most, but like, goddamn. At the boss Shit. baby movies now, if Trump was back, he would probably say something like Alec Baldwin deserved to go to jail for being in these movies. And to be honest, he ain't far off the mark. Joe's right, Facts. folks. These movies fucking blow. And if you enjoy them, you should seriously consider having a lobotomy done. <laughs> Because people like you can't be trusted in civilized society. <laughs> Agreed. I wish we could put them lower than D tier terrible movies. Yeah, well, it looks like we got these shit movies out of the way. Can I be here for the next video, guys? Why not, Bill? Over my dead body, you retard. That can be Why arranged. is he still here? Hey, guys, hope you liked the video. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Started a black man and took his shoes. Customized my AR like a Black Ops 2. Just scammed a white kid out of some gorilla glue. I don't wanna fuck this bitch, she smell like poo poo.